بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله from the pearls and the athar of the salaf al-salih ridwan الله عليهم ورحمة comes a beautiful athar or a beautiful narration which is a reminder for us to remember Allah Azza wa Jal. And it is a reminder and something that we should contemplate and reflect upon and it should be something that comes with ease because it is easy to remember Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala although the dunya much in this life distracts us and detracts us from the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. An Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal Ma amala adami amalan anja lahu min adhab Allah min dhikri Allah qalu ya Aba Abdurrahman wala jihad fi sabili Allah Azza wa Jal qala wala jihad li anna Allah Azza wa Jal yaqul في كتابه ولي ذكر الله أكبر and this was collected in the book of Zuhd by Imam uh, Ahmed رحمة الله عليه رحمة واسعة in this narration the narration of Mu'adh ibn Jabal رضي الله تعالى he said that there isn't a deed of the children of Adam that brings or saves one from the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah the Almighty, then remembrance of Allah, dhikr, dhikrillah. And then they said, meaning the group of people who were with him, they said, Ya Abu Abdurrahman. They said, O Abu Abdurrahman, O Father Abdurrahman, not even jihad fi sabilillah azza wa jal, not even jihad for the sake of Allah the Almighty, and majestic, he said, not even jihad, because Allah the Almighty has said in his book, and remember, oh, and the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the remembrance of Allah is akbar. And what we learn from this narration, we see how the Salaf al-Salih held that the greatest deed that one could do would be to exalt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on their tongues and on their limbs to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worship Allah tabarak wa ta'ala with tawheed and that dhikr is a simple act and it's a simple means of putting a waqaya or a barrier or a shield between you and the hellfire. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by all of his divine names and attributes to bless us to be of the dhakirin wa dhakirat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad.